it's Andrew, and this week we are talking about deserving stuff. Mm-hmm, you heard me. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt like you deserved something and you didn't get it? Well, you better watch this video. Good afternoon, faculty, parents, students, and staff. Just want to welcome you to the What is Art program. I am head librarian, Ms. Donahue. Again, that's Ms. Donahue. Ms. Donahue students. Thank you. Now, our three finalists will explain to you what art means, means to them. What art means to them. This is the What is Art program. Thank you all for attending. I thank you all for your participation. And to the other students who did not become finalists this year, don't worry, there is always next year. First, we will have our first student letting us know what art means to them. What's up everyone? My name is uh, Scott Burroughs and uh, what art means to me is this right here. This is what art means to me. As you can see, it's, it's true of life and it depicts the struggle that everybody goes through, through their adolescence. I decided to choose animals because animals are the pure spirits in this world and the pure spirits in the art world. So as you can see, they're trying their hardest to figure out who they want to be. And even though the sun is shining, their faces don't look as happy as maybe you would be on a sunny day because they're still struggling to know who they are even though they're adolescent animals. They're not baby animals anymore. They're not adult animals yet. They're like right in between. They're like, you know, like not, they're, they're, they're not a girl, but they're not yet a woman, you know, or a boy or a man, or however you want to look on, upon it. So again, this is what art means to me. My name is Scott Burroughs, and I'm really happy to be here today. To tell you what art means to me. This is what art is. Thanks. Hi, my name is Minaj A. Jones, and what art means to me is two words. Nicki Minaj. She is the greatest rapper of all time, male or female. She's won a lot of awards and has a lot of great music and CDs that have touched my heart and many of yours out there. But the number one reason why what means art to me is Nicki Minaj is that with her newest album, she has changed her look to wear her natural hair color. She has inspired me to do the same. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to the real Minaj A. Jones. Here I am with my natural hair color. I feel free to do so thanks to Nicki Minaj because art inspires us all. Thank you to Nicki, wherever you may be. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Hi, I'm Andrew Jeannie, and this is what art means to me. What is art? Art is riding in the car with you, listening to music, and knowing that there's no one else around. Even though there's millions of people walking among us, I feel alone with you. What is art? Art is wishing a fairy godmother would show up last minute to get rid of my peasant demeanor and reveal my true royalty inside. But we'll never be royals, will we? What is art? Art is knowing that you weren't the one because my knee only buckled once, not twice, like the other time with the other one. What is art? Art is my heart being broken by you over and over again, yet I make the pieces a mosaic, beautiful to shine in the sunlight. What is art? Art is knowing that you and I can never be us. Only we, we was the fun times that we had. We was the fun times that we had. We! 
was the fun times that we had until we crashed and burned into nothingness. What is art? Art is me standing here before you telling you all of these things without saying a word. What is art? Art is the first time we met standing outside in the rain discussing our favorite songs together. What is art? I don't know. Thanks. My name's Andrew Janey and that's what I think art is. Wasn't that just something special? I tell you, each year our finalists just get better and better. They sure do. All right, I have the results right here from our judges to let us know who the winner is. What is art? Program. Yes. And I mean, all three of the finalists were just something special. Were they not, ladies and gentlemen? Were they not? All right. This is Miss Donahue. She's going to tell you right now. Well, no surprise to me at all. Our winner of the What is Art program is... You guessed it. Menage Jones. Congratulations, Menage. Congratulations. So you lost an award that you thought you deserved. Here are some steps to get you over the loss and focusing on the good. Here we go. Step one, be happy for the other person. Don't let it show that you're disappointed. It wasn't meant to be. If it was meant to be, you would have gotten it. So step one, be happy. Step two. Think about what you could have done better so you'll be ready for next time. Situations often come up again and again and again. So this won't be the only time you go out for something and you don't get it. Maybe next time will be the one for you. So step two, think of how you could do better for the next time. Step three, you better be proud of yourself. It takes a lot of nerve just to get up there and do your thing. So you better be proud of yourself. Pat yourself on the back. Look at you go. Sure you didn't get it this time, but who knows about next time. Go ahead with your bad self. Step three, be proud of yourself. All right, my friends. Again, comment down below. Let me know if you've ever been in a situation where you felt like you deserved something and you didn't get it and how you felt about it and what you did to get past that situation. I really am interested to hear what you have to say. Don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you know, I feel like you deserve this video so that's why I made it for you. You're welcome. Here, I got your little medal and everything. There you go, there you go. Ooh, you won, you won, you won. Even though it's not always about winning, remember that. Sometimes it's just about the experience and the moment that you're in. All right, I digress. All right, my friends, I'll be with you and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.